why a millionaire can't see you, can't find you, it is mostly because you are hiding. And why are women hiding so often? Why are you hiding? I'm not talking about like hiding in your apartment, never going out. Maybe you are actually doing that. Maybe you are hiding in your apartment and never going out. But what if you're not? You're trying to attract your millionaire, attract your amazing man. And yet, and yet you are invisible. So if this is you, very, very, very often women are hiding, especially physically hiding. If you think that you might be not good enough in terms of looks, in terms of physical attraction. Okay. And this is such a sensitive topic. And so many of my one-on-one -on -one clients are facing this issue. That's why I decided to talk about this more. And I'm also doing a free masterclass next week. Um, it's called I'm Sexy and I Know It. And you get to join me for free. And you get to, like it's free for a limited time before it becomes part of the course, How to Date a Millionaire. And you get to learn to start embodying the feeling of I'm attractive, I'm so beautiful, I'm so desirable, and not just the affirmation, but really the embodiment. And what happens then when you have this aura, you literally become so attractive to all men. And no, age isn't the limit. Age isn't the limit and um, you look, I don't know, I mean, I am a fan though of that, that you look, take care of yourself in a way that you feel comfortable. But I feel like it's more a self-care, self-loving thing. So of course you go ahead and take care of yourself to a degree where you feel happy with yourself, where you feel taken care of yourself, okay? That's another story. But once you've done that, like let's imagine you are wearing something you feel comfortable in, um, you know, you have makeup or no makeup or a hair that you feel comfortable in. I mean, I mean, look at even me, like my hair isn't like perfectly done or anything. It's just what it is um, quite naturally. So, um, but it's about the embodiment of being attractive and knowing it. And this is the most attractive to men. Yeah. And I'm celebrating all over my 70 year old client who is getting married to a millionaire this October and I'm so happy for her and she is the best testimonial so unfortunately I can't say the name but she is the best testimonial of a lady that um, knows she's attractive and and she knows it and she never had the feeling of I have competition actually she said she was like telling me that oh, when I'm like out, the guy wants me, like the millionaires want me and the other ladies who are much younger than me, they have no chance. Yeah, because she was the one who was attractive. She was the one who let the guy um, chase her and um, invest in her, you know. So anyways, if you want to join the masterclass, I'm sexy and I know it, you go ahead and click in the link in the description box and sign up. So, and if you feel invisible, yeah, if you feel invisible, again, oftentimes it's because of the thought, like, I'm not good enough. But what if, what if you get to decide that you're good enough today? What if you get to decide I'm attractive today? And I will show you practical tools how to really step into that. And then you might tell me, but when I look into the mirror, then, you know, I find myself ugly or whatever you, you're going to tell yourself or me. But then... Tell me, like, when you have those kind of thoughts, are you a victim of your own thoughts? You're not. And again, I will show you how to change it around. Because the truth is, you said your truth. And I had a boyfriend when I was in my early 20s, and I looked pretty much the same, or even, you know, like pretty much the same. But it doesn't matter even how I looked. He told me I was, I'm ugly. Like he told me that. He told me I'm ugly and he needs me to make my 
makeup better and my hair better and to you know work out more and stuff and i believe that it was so awful i that i believed that and when i went out with a man who told me i'm beautiful i didn't believe him i thought there's something wrong with this guy telling me that i'm beautiful and you see I just attracted the guy that was a vibrational match for what I was thinking about myself. And I was thinking about myself that I'm ugly, so I attracted men who called me ugly. Like this is, I'm laughing now because, I mean, at this stage, it would just be hilarious to me if someone told me I'm ugly. I'd be just like, block. <laughs> Never talk to you again, just laugh about it, you know? I'm right now at the stage where it's such, like, not a lie but back then i was believing that that i was not good enough and i was attracting attracting men who told me the same and who couldn't see my beauty and again the worst part was when i would date guys that um told me i'm beautiful i i, I thought they're weird i thought there's something wrong with them i thought they forgot their glasses you know i was like how can you say that like you're creepy i mean i'm obviously ugly <laughs> And it sounds so awful, I know, but this is what I felt, this is what I thought, and this is what I believed the guy. And so, you know, and there was also the time where men just wouldn't notice me because I didn't feel attractive. I felt like, mm. and I want you to also start embodying. And, you know, I did this transformation, but it was like years ago, so I basically forgot about this issue because it was like so far ago for me this, the transformation that I did like the stepping into the embodiment of feeling and being attractive um but I have lately so many one-on-one -on -one clients talking about this to me so I thought you ladies might you might also take advantage of this knowledge and embodiment process and um yeah so being attractive and sexy is something you get to step into and I don't care where you're from, how old you are, what's your skin and hair color, what's your language or um, you know how many pounds you have on the weight. I don't care about that. You get to feel sexy and attractive tomorrow and the best part is that um, when you start embodying this vibration, actually eating well and working out starts becoming much easier because you become the vibrational woman a vibrational match of the woman that is sexy and attractive and if in your mind it's like being super curvy that's amazing but if it's in your mind being more sporty that's amazing too so for me it's um it was like more the sporty type yeah a little bit curvy but more sporty so that felt like really aligned but it wasn't something that someone told me that i have to be that that was something that i had like literally had in my heart but even before i become this version i don't know if you follow me on um instagram for example or facebook i was posting like how i looked before i had like i think 15 kilograms less like 30 pounds less and i was so skinny um that wasn't healthy anymore but even before I had my dream body, I would literally step into this embodiment of, yeah, I'm sexy and I'm attractive and right now. And then like my dream body just literally manifested. But that's another thing for the manifestation, right, part. Um, but even in terms of dating, like imagine you can be the woman that just allows herself to be seen, whatever state you are, like the perfect imperfection. And this is what men love. And I myself throughout the years heard from guys telling me I've, I've never seen a woman that loves herself so much, that loves her body so much, that finds herself so sexy so much. I don't show this uh, flavor of me here so much um, because, you know, it is my coaching business, but I am literally the embodiment of that because I come from the other part. And, you know, ladies, it's so crazy. Back then, I thought like, why is my life so awful? I had the biggest point of contrast in terms of health, body, money, 
relationships. Like I had the most awful life I could imagine. Like everything that could go wrong went wrong. But today I'm so grateful because this showed me what I don't want, what kind of life I don't want. And this showed me the way, you know, like this gave me motivation to level up and that's why I am here where I am, like fully embodied in self-love and feeling attractive, healthy, having the wealth, having the loving romantic relationship. And, you know, it's not about like having it all and bragging. I believe that you get to have your heart desire. And um, if your heart desire is to feel sexy and feel attractive um, on dates and allowing yourself to be seen and shine which is the most attractive to men because he is going to reflect your energy actually men don't need so much you to look like a supermodel they don't okay but he needs this energy of yeah like i'm so attractive and he will respond to that okay okay so if you want to feel this way make sure to join my free master class next week it's free for a limited time the link is in the description box or you can directly also dm me for the link. And also a quick announcement, I have in June a few uh, spots for one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you have been eyeing on that, make sure to sign up now and to reach out to me now because I do have a special entry offer and I don't know when I'm going to run it again. And yeah, just reach out to me and we will see if you are a good match. So my email address is in the description box. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. If you watch on YouTube, subscribe. And I see you in the next video.